super cool party people and welcome to the vlog it is currently 11 o'clock i i look terrible i'm aware i feel better though so that's what matters but i have been up on and off since probably like 8 39 terrible i know but i finally decided at like 10 30 to get out of bed so i am exporting or no i'm rendering my vlog footage right now so i can edit that because it is so late and uh, I've just been chilling. I'm just going to chill today. It's fine. This is like really heavy for me right now in my weakened state. Um, but yeah, I do feel better. I just don't feel the best, which is, you know, all I can ask for. So I'm just going to have a chill day some more today. I need to like not be in my bed for a while at least because just like all the laying, my body's starting to hurt from it. So I think I'm going to chill. I think I might order in food <laughs> <laughs> because I might be too lazy to cook, but we'll see. I'll edit the vlog first and then I'll make a decision from there. Oh, it's so heavy. But yeah, I think key, I need to drink more water today because my water consumption has just been down lately, so that's not good. And um, just take it easy. Two things, drink water, take it easy. Remember, water solves everything, and I haven't been drinking water, which is why I got sick. Probably not, but <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, I don't think this is anything big, which is nice. I just need to chill. <laughs> just chill. <laughs> I know I said I didn't want to spend my whole day in bed, but <clears throat> even just being up for this last little while while I've been editing the vlog, I just feel <laughs> terrible. I've had very little water. I thought I drank more than that. Um, so I need to drink more water. And I just like, ugh. I just, ugh. <laughs> so I think I'm probably going to end up climbing back into bed here. I'm not, like, tired enough to sleep, I don't think, but I... Am exhausted enough to not be upright in any manner so I guess that's what we'll do I still should decide if I want to order food or just like I'm not really hungry but isn't it like starve a fever feed a cold and I think this is a cold so I should eat I don't know we'll think about it it's only <clears throat> like 20 to 12 right now so there's lots of time to make things happen. I just looked at my list for the day and it's like so ambitious. Like what's in my agenda? Like do laundry. Mm. It's a beautiful sunny day so it'd be a great day to do it but mm -mm. <laughs> so hopefully we got enough clothes to keep going through. It's normally the thing that I run out of the quickest is socks. I don't know why I have a lot of socks. Anyways you care. I know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for the vlog to finish exporting so I can upload it and then we'll get back into that nest of blankets and stuff and uh, hopefully th I'll start to feel better. I don't feel terrible like I said, it's just I need to work up my endurance to get out of bed for longer so that's where we're at, just thought I'd keep you updated and um, yeah. <laughs> Let's interrupt this day of doing nothing for a quick <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> so I'm the type of person who will put stuff in my cart on Amazon and then just not commit to it. So I finally committed to a couple things. Things I need it, things I want it. <laughs> so the first thing is I just got some more three inch hoops for my embroidery because I really like making the three inch size and I am not out, but I'm going through them at a pretty rapid pace. So I figured I'd get some more. I also got a new charger lightning cable. It's pink. It is so fun and it's 10 feet long, so it should be good. Um, Adeline Morin said it was good, so I got it. Anyway, the one that I use to charge my iPad is questionable that it's still working basically, so I need to replace it. I also got this filter for hopefully this camera. Hopefully it will fit. I don't know, I'm not well versed in filters so I'm just hoping I searched it and it said that this one should work so so I'm hoping it will it's just there it is and then lastly I've been wanting to get a ring light <laughs> it's got spelling it's spelled beauty beauty 
<laughs> anyway, um, I saw a YouTuber mention that this was good, and it's just a small one, which is kind of nice because I didn't want something giant, and that was why I was, like, taking my time. So there it is. I mean, it's still pretty big, but the, it's like a tabletop version. So at some point, I will put that together. I've had, um other newer products like my big tripod that I have that I really like is newer so hopefully it works well and now my room that was like not as much of a mess is a much larger mess now anyway I'm gonna go and I'm gonna climb back into bed I might build this just because now that I have it I maybe want to build it but yeah it's just got a phone attachment but I can just put my camera behind it so yeah it should be interesting if nothing else I think it'll work well for when I'm trying to do my makeup and I'm struggling with lighting because the lighting in this room is not always the greatest I'm rambling now though I'm gonna go I will check in with you after probably much laying around and doing nothing if we're being honest hola I live it is five o'clock now I ate when was the last like I ate food and then I climbed into bed I heard my mom get home from work at like 3ish and then I passed out until like 4:30 and boy did I sweat. It was rough. I just had my fan on for the last half hour trying to cool down because I could not function. In good news, my lens cover that I got, it's not filter. My filter that I got fits. I'll be interested to see if there's a difference in the quality. I'm just like staring over here trying to figure it out. I have no idea. But it fits so that's good and I feel like my lens will be more protected now because you know if it's gonna get scratched it'll be that first so that's nice but I think shortly here I'm gonna get up what and maybe change out of my very sweaty pajamas <sighs> it's the best thing about being sick is all the sweat um, change and then just like make my bed you know try to get myself a little bit put together because yeah because I think I need it also I had like these really weird dreams like there was like sorcerers or whatever in it and then because I was watching Kim Possible on Disney Plus while I was sleeping and like I still had an earbud in and so then Kim Possible things were getting in there and someone said something about these nights I'm like oh yeah the nights of rot again like Kim had to deal with those and then when I woke up it was that episode it was really weird anyway I'm starting to get hot again under this blanket so which is probably a good thing but I'm gonna maybe start trying to get my life together maybe <laughs> alrighty so we are set up with the um ring light it's quite bright like if I turn it off it's it's a marked difference but I think it goes up to like full brightness. It can go like, it's pretty impressive. Like it goes up to like Icarus levels of sun and then you can go blue and you can go like this orange warm, but we're gonna go back to there. So that is cool. I have done a little bit of tidying in my room, made my bed. I'm still just a sweat sack. I was gonna jump in the shower, but then I really started sweating. I'm like, do it, sweat. And so I am um, <laughs> just watching. A YouTube video. I've been trying to shout out YouTubers <laughs> this year. It's like one of my things. Like if I like people, I'm gonna talk about them. So I previously talked about Makara Tours, which you should definitely check her out. If you haven't, she is hilarious. She moved down to Florida in her motorhome that she just bought and she's living in like an old folks motorhome park. Goals. <laughs> and then I'm watching Clancy Burke. She is a YouTuber who is also a news reporter in I want to say Dayton. I'm probably wrong. It does not say in here. Anyway, she's a news reporter, so that's cool. So I'm watching that. I'm going to finish watching that. It is just about six, and then I'm going to jump in the shower because I'm so gross. But things are clean, which is exciting. And then I kind of maybe want to start to make progress on some things today, like doing my Japanese study would be nice. It's crazy. I was actually just thinking it. I can't find my book. Ugh. I have been doing this for like, we'll say 17 because today's the 19th. I didn't say yesterday, but 17 days, 30 minutes each day. And I like, I'm not done this book yet. Good job. That's a pretty, 
pretty impressive book. I was kind of thinking when I was making my bed, because I have my Japanese stuff hidden behind a pillow in my bookshelf, what I want to go with next. And so I think I've picked the book that I want to go with next, but we will see. Anyways, I am glistening if you can't tell, and I feel terrible, so I want to finish watching this video and jump into the shower, and hopefully I will start to feel human. <laughs> I don't know if better is the thing, but human would be nice. Alrighty, so I am showered and I'm not really dressed. I changed my pajamas, <laughs> that was the extent of it, but on my hoodie that I love or sweater, I don't know what it is. It's got a hood, but it's like sweater material. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I still am not fully there. I'm finally trying to drink more water, I think. I just finished this and I think it's the only water I've drank today, which is really terrible, but it's fine. We'll get back on that game. It's like 10 after 7, so I think it's time to like scavenge for dinner or something. So I'm going to go downstairs, see what my mom is up to. Like I mentioned yesterday, her boyfriend is out of town, so it's just her and I to figure out what to eat. And then I guess as the night goes on, I'll decide if I'm going to go into work tomorrow because I can do what I was going to do today tomorrow and then not have to worry about having a second person for for assistance, so that's an option, but we'll see how I feel because, you know, it's only gonna get worse from here with how busy it gets at work, and so if I don't take this time to rest and I need it, then in the long run it'll be worse than not getting the stuff done now. This stuff, it'll be a struggle, but I can work it in along the way, but dying and just not getting better not good. So we will see. Also, I want to like maybe edit my book tonight or read because I haven't read in a couple days or Japanese study. I don't know. I want to do something. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still not feeling the greatest, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll start with food and we'll go from there. Hola, I am back. It is currently 20 to 9. I went downstairs. My mom was like out cold and I joked earlier today that instead of having dinner we should just sleep through dinner and I was like I didn't actually mean it. We ended up just ordering it because lazy basically is the answer to that. I'm still feeling kind of blah. <laughs> that did not go as well as I hoped it would. I'm still feeling kind of blah. And um, I don't know if I'm going to go into work tomorrow or not because like I'm now getting a cough and that is not cool. So I think what I'm going to do is continue to take it easy. I don't think I'm going to do anything other than edit my book because I want to edit my book. And you know what? Why deprive myself of something? And I'm not going to go crazy. Although I do only have like 18 pages left. So like maybe I'm going to go crazy. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to edit my book chill, relax, and then probably within the next hour make a decision as to whether I'm going into work or not tomorrow. I could, I could also not, you know, decisions. <laughs> it's so hard. I mean, if I were scheduled, uh, I don't know, today I felt really terrible. But if I was scheduled to like actually work tomorrow and like I had to work, I would probably go in. But because it's an extra shift and I know what the schedule is looking like going forward, like I have another couple weeks where I work like six days in a week, maybe not going is the better idea. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit better, but also like I just want to sleep for ages. So <laughs> we'll see why? Why did I have to get sick when I had six days off in a row? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than getting sick when I had to work. Whatever. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. There's no point for it. I'm just gonna like and get into editing mode. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Well, I just finished editing my book. and That is very exciting. Grand total, I think I cut about 10,500 words, so that is good too. I uh, definitely want to do another edit because even near the end there, there was stuff that I was like, oh, I don't know what I feel. So that's good though. I'm glad that it's done. I am exhausted though. If you can't tell, I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> And it is just after 10, so I'm going to climb into bed. I think my plan for tomorrow is this. I'm just going to go to sleep and with no regard for going to work. And then if I wake up and I feel better, I'll just go and I'll work a couple hours in the afternoon, I think, because I just feel like I should get it done, but also, like, I just need to sleep. I can't even describe how tired I feel, like... I don't have words for it. I'm gassed. <laughs> so that's the plan. The plan is just to sleep. Maybe we'll 
feel better in the morning. Maybe we won't. And then go from there. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night!